Hello my dear students, this is Sundar Rabindranathan here. How is everybody doing? Hope all you guys are doing super awesome. Exams uh, have just started and I hope you guys are, you know, all geared up to do extremely well in your examinations. Now, uh, welcome to this session, you know, Know Your Maps Part 4. I hope you enjoyed Part 3 where I was focusing more on uh, agriculture, typically the crop production, the different kind of crops that uh, grow across the country. Now, this session, uh, Know Your Maps Part 4, our focus is going to be on minerals and energy sources. Right? Energy resources. Now, uh, typically in this session, I would be focusing a lot on the minerals part. What kind of questions come under minerals? Right? We are going to focus on four very, very essential minerals that are typically and very critical for our manufacturing industries. Okay? Right. So, let us get on to the session. So, what is the structure of the session? Typically, what are the types of map questions that are going to come? We have already discussed it, but still, uh, a quick reiteration. And then, uh, important minerals. As I said, four minerals will be the uh, highlight of this session, our focus area. And then, uh, so typically, what are they? Number one, iron. So, we will speak about iron ores. Okay, what are, where are the iron ore fields? Where are the iron ore mines? Okay, and... Uh, Exporting points for iron ore, all right, where is, from where is iron ore exported, the different areas. Manganese, so manganese, where is it found in India? What are the different belts where manganese is found? And uh, typically, I'll also highlight a, a few uses of manganese, similar to that, bauxite and mica as well. So, four minerals, iron, manganese, bauxite and mica, they are going to be the focus on this session because we have clearly found many of the questions come around this. Right? Okay, so watch out. Uh, you know, be all ears. Here we go. Type of map question. What kind of map questions come here? Typically, you know, location, area identification and uh, location, where, which, what are the locations where minerals are found, etc. Okay, and third, they will give you the map you will have to label, you know, the location saying this is where what is found. So, labeling. These are the three different types of questions that generally come in maps. So, identifying and ident uh, spotting the locations, labeling the locations. Clear? Right, guys. Now, so important minerals. I think I have already spoken about it. We will be starting with iron ores. Now, uh, to start with, what are these four? Iron ores, manganese, bauxite and mica these are the four things that we will be focusing on today's session what are they why are they required why should we be speaking about it and why are they really included in the map questions okay i will highlight on that now to start with iron ore fields okay where are the iron ore fields located uh, before that so obviously we from iron ore we get iron what are the uses of iron it's very very so easy for you to spot because iron has so vast kind of usage typically iron is used in the production of steel right and steel is used everywhere everywhere to make anything you know steel is required right from construction steel is required uh, vehicles steel is required so steel is required everywhere so major uh, use of iron is construction and uh, production of steel usage of steel as well clear so now, where are these iron ore fields located? Done? Let us figure out. So, Odisha, Odisha Jharkhand belt, typically, right? It is near the J Odisha Jharkhand belt in this place. Number two, Durg, Basta, Chandrapur. So, typically, that is Chhattisgarh, is it not? So, that belt, number two. Durg, Bastar, Chandrapur. So this belt and three Ballari, Chitra, uh, Ballari, Chitra, Durga. So number three is Ballari, Chitra, Durga, Chikmangalore. That's in Karnataka. So here. And four, Goa belt. Maharashtra, Goa belt. So the fourth one is around here. Are you clear? So these are the four places typically where Iron ore fields are present. 
Now, my dear students, it is very essential for you to understand what are iron ore fields. If iron ore fields are apart from that, anything is there. I will explain to you in the coming slide. Okay. So, now just a reiteration. Typically, Odisha, Jharkhand belt, Durg, Bastar, Chit, you know, Chhattisgarh belt. Third is Karnataka, Chikmangalur. And fourth is Maharashtra, Goa, Goa belt. Yeah, so these are four places where iron ore fields are present. I hope all of you are clear. Right. All you guys need to do is just create some phonics for you to remember this comfortably. Relate that phonic with iron. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Mnemonics. So all I want you guys to do is, uh, you know, create mnemonics for these four and relate that mnemonic with iron. Ensure iron is a part of that mnemonic. Are you guys clear? Right. Iron ore mines. So what did we see earlier? Earlier we saw iron ore fields. Is it not? So that means, is there a difference between iron ore field and an iron ore mine? Is there any difference? I'll tell you what. Any area where iron ore is present, the widespread area, that belt, that's called an iron ore field. But not throughout the field, you can have a mine where you can dig and get the ore out of it. Lot of surveys will be done. They will spot, you know, comfortable places where it can be dug and ore can be really fetched. So there is a difference between an iron ore field and a mine. However, a mine can should necessarily be a part of the iron ore field. Needless to say that. Among the field, some area where they find it very, very suitable, they will fix the iron ore mines and start digging. Are you guys clear the difference between a field and a mine? Cool. So now the iron ore mines, Mayurbanj, Odisha. So typically we already saw that Odisha belt, remember? Odisha, this belt. So it's called Mayurbanj, Jurg, you know. So in Durg, Chhattisgarh, this belt. And again, Bailadila, Chhattisgarh, similarly this belt. So, two places in Chhattisgarh. They are Durg and Bailadila. Clear, guys? Right. And four, Bellari, Karnataka, the border. Okay. And five, Kundramukh. That's also in Karnataka. Kundramukh in Karnataka. So, these are five places, right, typically where iron ores are found. Uh, iron ore mines. In, in, in fact, it is mines. You got it? Right guys. So these are five places where the iron ore mines are found. Okay, the earlier one was iron ore fields. So four places, these are the four export points for iron ores. I repeat, number one, Mangalore in Karnataka. Right? Number two, Marmagoa. Number three, Paradweep. Okay, and number four, Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Yes, now you know very clearly what are the export points. Correct? Manganese. Okay, now, now you are clear about uh, three, three very important data points. Number one, iron ore. Where are the iron ore fields found? Number two, iron ore mines. Where are the iron ore mines? Okay, and number three, iron ore export points. Yeah, I hope all of you are clear with all the three. Yeah, all right. Now manganese. So before I speak about uh, manganese, where is it available? You need to know the uses of manganese. One very common use. I hope all of you would know where where is uh, you know what is a common use of manganese, guys. The, a common use of manganese is in cells. These batteries that we use, right? The dry cell batteries. It contains manganese. A lot of manganese processed. Okay, so that is one typical use of manganese. Okay, for all you're wondering, what is the use of this mineral? Manganese has very wide use. Steel processing cannot be complete without the, you know, using manganese for deoxidizing. Remember this. And then, uh, manganese is also used uh, in paints. Okay, so multiple uses are there for manganese. Clear? Now, are you guys curious where is manganese found? Let us check out. So, number one. 
सुंदरगर सो सुंदरगर टिपिकली गाइस आर यू एबल टू सी दिस नंबर टू शिमोगा सो दैट कर्नाटका बेल टिपिकली नंबर थ्री नागपुर महाराष्ट्र नंबर फोर बालाघाट बालाघाट एस यू कॉल इट बालाघाट एमपी मध्य प्रदेश राइट गाइस सो सुंदरगढ़ टिपिकली द जारकन बेल्ट एस यू कॉल इट शिमोगा कर्नाटका नागपुर महाराष्ट्र एंड बालाघाट मध्य प्रदेश दीज आर फोर एरियाज वेर मैंगनीस इज फाउंड राइट सो सुंदरगढ़ all right you, i want you guys to you know find or quickly create a mnemonic for remembering all the four so that whenever a map questions comes quickly you can pick it up are you guys clear right excellent now speaking about bauxite so what is the use of bauxite hey guys bauxite is used in multiple places so uh, bauxite uh, it is also used in cement it is also used in uh, petrol industries multiple uses are there for bauxite okay it's typically for industries that is uh, you know the use of bauxite where is it found amarkanthak <clears throat> amarkanthak plateau where is it mp michael hills michael hills maharashtra plateau region of bilaspur so bilaspur typically you find it in chatisgarh and for madhya pradesh again katni so there are four places though they have mentioned it's a plateau region so it combines two states one is bilaspur the other is katni so that means one bilaspur is in typically is in uh, uh, chatisgarh and katni is in madhya pradesh now amarkanthak Madhya Pradesh, Michael Hills, Maharashtra. So these are four regions where bauxite is found. Are you guys clear? So typically, if you look at it, it is in the Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh belt. All right, it's that region surrounding. So Jharkhand, you can use very easy Bilaspur. Number two, Madhya Pradesh, Amarkanthak, and Katni. And uh, Maharashtra, Michael Hills. right guys i hope you guys are clear now so this is the you know uh, possible these are possible locations where map questions can come on box site so now what's remaining mica let's figure out what's mica we all know mica has wide uses it's a great insulator so it's used for uh, insulation stuff uh, mica is also used for uh, cosmetics guys in cosmetics mica, mica is used and in toothpaste and all you if you look at uh, non organic toothpaste all right not the organic ones the other ones the, you know which involves chemicals mica is used a lot specifically for getting that shine you find that uh, toothpaste gel is a lot shining right and we enjoy it but trust me it has mica yeah so certain uses of mica now where is it found gaya bihar right so kodarma gaya Asaribagh belt of Jharkhand see typically if you look at it uh, Gaya is a Bihar belt okay so now uh, Asaribagh typically Jharkhand Rajasthan Ajmer Ajmer and Nellor is uh, AP Andhra Pradesh well so these are Gaya Asaribagh belt whenever it's a belt it combines uh, you know it might have a uh, more than one region so here they have Bihar Jharkhand region this belt gaya and hasribag hasribag is in jharkhand gaya is in bihar uh, ajmer rajasthan and nellore andhra pradesh four places where mica is found right so ap uh, bihar jharkhand belt typically for jharkhand hasribag and for bihar gaya and ajmer rajasthan yeah guys these are uh, typically three areas where we get mica right guys now what kind of questions might come we should know that is it not so question samples what kind of questions come we already saw three different types identification location and label labeling right 
these are the three questions now among this how the, the question comes let's look at a sample so features are marked by numbers given in the given map of India identify the features with the help of following information and write their correct names as marked number one an iron ore exporting port we have already discussed the four ports typically so let's see where they have marked okay they have asked here so what is the port that we discussed here guys Vishakhapatnam did I is it not Andhra Pradesh this is the port here number two mica producing region just now we discussed mica what is that mica producing region remember that uh, Jharkhand Bihar belt I said so for Bihar if you look at it they have noted down behind here Bihar we said Gaya is it not so the right answer could be Gaya here and third bauxite producing region so in Chhattisgarh right have they marked Chhattisgarh here yes they have so in Chhattisgarh bauxite is produced so typically all right Gaya Chhattisgarh Bilaspur and Vishakhapatnam port are you guys clear so these are three regions which you need to remember guys now the one thing that you got to note down here is you need to know the specific uh, name of that location it could be a mine uh, it could be a port okay it could be any specific field iron ore field also remember guys so these are the three I hope now you guys have a very clear answer did you awesome so my dear student these are some of the uh, very important minerals based on which map questions might come in I have also given you the sample I hope you guys are very clear now yeah all right a little homework for you as always look at and label the following items on the given map okay number one Paradweep iron ore exporting point so where is it exported from number one number two Kundremuk iron ore mine where is it okay we, I spoke about Kundramuk at the fourth one right remember that Michael Hills bauxite producing region where is it and for Ajmer this is a cake walker Ajmer mica producing region where is it so you have to label them here in the map are you guys clear just amazing guys cool you guys are super awesome I want you guys to re be really there do it and ping me on the comment section don't forget that right okay guys so with this we come to the end of uh, the first part of the fourth session know your maps so here as I said energy and resources uh, in, in other words you know now what we have focused on is minerals right now we need to check the energy resources which is pending so what the next session is going to be on energy resources I'll speak about all the energy you know resources starting from thermal uh, plants nuclear plants gas reservoirs everything and what possible map questions can come so watch out all right guys lovely lovely interacting with you until I see you in the next session all right this is me Sundar Ravindranathan signing off guys bye bye